now we are going to discuss endometrial polyps endometrial polyps are exophytic masses which vary in size and they project into the endometrial cavity they may be single or multiple and are usually sessile but when they are of larger size they are pedunculated they range from 0.5 to 3 cm in diameter these polyps are asymptomatic but may cause abnormal bleeding which is intramenstrual or postmenopausal they may undergo ulceration or necrosis the endometrial glands which are present within the polyps are hyperplastic or atrophic but occasionally they show secretory changes and once they show secretory changes we call them as functional polyps the polyps in which the glands are hyperplastic develop in association with generalized endometrial hyperplasia and they are responsive to the growth effect of estrogen and show little or no response to progesterone rarely adenocarcinomas arise within the endometrial polyps now in this photograph you can appreciate the gross appearance of the endometrial polyp you can very well see that endometrial polyp is present in the endometrial cavity and is reddish brown in color in this photograph you can appreciate the microscopic features of endometrial polyp there is a lining of epithelium and the endometrial glands are embedded in endometrial stoma please note that in this case the endometrial glands are without any secretory activity 